The Saxon Ring in Germany is the scene of round four of the Sidecar World Championship. Part of a varied calendar for the FIM series. It guarantees a packed crowd of a sidecar action. Held at Rijeka in Croatia, the third event of 2012 was a double header for the Sidecar World Championship. Two races in one meeting made for a chance to bolster the points in the overall standings. As the flag went down in race one, it was Hawk Racing who got the whole shot under the blazing sun. Right behind them though, Team Suzuki Finland, the Virtual Brothers and Tim Reeves Racing. By lap two, Reeves and Horse had passed Hock and Becker. Bringing with them the Virtual Brothers, it was a sprint race to open up proceedings. Reason Horsa pulled away and they were able to take the chequered flag by nearly 10 seconds. The following teams fought hard for places. In the end, it was Marcus Schlosser and Thomas Hofer who crossed the line in second place, closely followed by Pavarinta and Hani. Race two, and at the start of this Gold Cup race, it was Marcus Schlosser and Thomas Hofer who were first into turn one. Team Schlosser team chased by Team Suzuki Finland. This a longer contest than the opening sprint. On lap one, Tim Reeves Racing got past Schlosser and Hoffer and the places would just stay like this until lap three. There were plenty of changes in the field. Tire wear again proving to be a decisive factor. As the flag came down, it was Tim Reeves Racing who took the win. Losser in second and Steinhausen Racing in third place. And that moves Tim Reeves Racing to the top of the overall standings, just a few points ahead of Team Suzuki Finland. Steinhausen Racing in third and Virtual Racing in fourth. Round four of the FIM Sidecar World Championship, moving to Germany for the first time this year. What a venue it is, the Saxon Ring. The 3.70 kilometer circuit in Saxony, renowned for its party atmosphere and twisty nature. Since 2003, spectator attendance has always been over 200,000. This race, accompanying the MotoGP World Championship round, Fans staying on to watch the sidecar action. Once again, tyres could play a part in the result of this race. The last round at Rijeka, seeing a lot of teams struggle with tyres due to the abrasiveness of the track and the immense heat. The Saxon ring in the past has been known to cause tyres to blister. We will have to wait and see how this pans out for the sidecar teams. Virtual Racing start from pole, joined on the front row by Hock Racing and Team Suzuki Finland. Some home teams in action as well and also some teams from nearby Switzerland including Team Schlosser. Flag about to go down. Uh, we're about to set off at the Saxon Ring. Again, virtual racing starting from pole. Joined on the front row by Hawk Racing. Team Suzuki Finland alongside them. Behind them, Steinhausen Racing and at Tim Reeves Racing. Those five likely to be contenders for the victory. Team Schlosser as well, starting from the head of the third row. Red flag down, the lights out at Saxon Ring and the action gets underway. 
a 22 lap race in the latest round of the Sidecar World Championship. Virtual Brothers taking the whole shot and leading the way, coming down the iconic hill. One of the trickiest parts of this twisty track. That leads into some of the beautiful flicks of a chicane. And a tightly packed field. There's Schlosser Racing. A pairing of Marcus Schlosser and Thomas Hoffer who have raced in the German series. Plenty of experience at Saxon Ring for them. Virtual Racing leading the way early on with a fairly rigid order behind them. Hot Racing close behind. And the number 77, Tim Reeves Racing in third place will be opening six laps. And there's one of the teams lower down the order. The team of... Jakob Rutz and Jens Linertz. Tim Reeves Racing and Schlosser Racing. Fighting side by side with one another. After lap six, Steinhausen Racing out into third, a little way back on the top two, which is still uh, virtual and hawk racing. Team Schlosser with all the tricks of the Saxon ring. Starting from the third row, sick on the grid. Team uh, of Struer Racing. Here we go for half a lap with them around the Saxon Ring track. So demanding on the passengers, so many corners, very little room for rest along the straights, and very difficult on the tyres as well. Mixed conditions at Saxon Ring. The sun out on race day, but rain falling over the course of a weekend. Providing plenty of variety for the teams in the practice and qualifying sessions. Through a racing complete the lap. On to another time round the Saxon Ring Circuit. And a little uh, further down the field. Have a runoff for the Delta Racing Team, who look to be able to rejoin the action without conceding too many positions. Delta Racing in the uh, green and black. around this descending series of turns. Looks to have been uh, no bike damage from that runoff. 
as the team uh, trying to break its way into uh, the top ten, the France West team. Virtual Racing still leading the way. Hot Racing close behind them. By the time lap 10 comes around, Hot Racing close enough to make a move. Steinhausen Racing, the home team, slotted into third. Who took a victory in Hungary and third in Croatia? They're going to look to see it out to the end. One team who won't be lasting though is Connect Roque pulling into pit lane. And retirement for the uh, number 95. I will be watching on for the rest of this contest from the side of pit wall, a mechanical failure. Hawk <laughs> Racing getting close enough to make the move past the uh, virtual racing team. Extremely close out front. <laughs> Tim Reeves racing and Team Suzuki Finland also looking to make their way up the order. Virtual racing mower chasing down the leaders. Hawk racing following them. As lap 10 comes around, now moving back in front. Some tight overtaking in a sequence between Virtual Racing and Hawk Racing. Virtual Racing have to hit the brakes. Still right on the tail of Kurt Hawk and Enrico Becker. Now the virtual racing team extending an advantage as we come down to the straights. Hook racing a couple of seconds behind. For the first time in the race, a bit of breathing space for virtual racing. Hook racing a German team in second place. As the laps tick by. Closing back up now with Virtual Racing. Plenty of movement further down the field. Four positive finishes. Now we look at JL Racing, the team of Barry James and Callum Lawson, a British side competing in this first German round of the 2012 season. Number 66, Russia sidecar, the team of Mike Russia and Uwe Nürbert. They're currently on the cusp of the uh, top 10. With lap 14 coming around, it's still a two uh, team fight at the head of the field. Team Suzuki Finland also passed Tim Reeves Racing for the final podium spot. 
not proving to be too much of a difficulty as these teams maintain their speedy lap times. This race set for a duration of around 33 minutes. Uh, Team Suzuki Finland in a comfortable spot. Not looking to be a challenger though for the uh, podium places. There or thereabouts in the top five. The reigning world champions some way off the battle for victory at the Saxon ring. to the final stages of this opening German Grand Prix of the season. Will it be the home team, Hock Racing, who take the win? Will it be Birchall Racing, the visitors from Great Britain? Going to be a tight contest right to the finish. Back markers getting involved as well. getting caught up with one of the trailing teams who are being lapped. Trying to find their way past. So a last lap overtake from Birchall Racing on Hock Racing is pulled off as Hock try to go round the back marker. The British team sneak in, and it's Birchall Racing who take the victory ahead of Hawk Racing. The gap less than half a second. Steinhausen Racing also sneak through for third place ahead of Tim Reeves Racing, one of the winners at the Yeka. Three Germans on the podium then. The two from Hock Racing and Jörg Steinhausen. From Steinhausen Racing, the victory though, going to Birchall Racing. A disappointing result for Team Suzuki Finland. They place sixth at the Saxon Ring. Passionate German crowd, appreciative of the efforts of the sidecar riders. A fair few staying on after the Grand Prix action to see what these sidecar riders can do. They provide a show for the fans. A dice for victory settled right at the end. Racing with the German flag out. A home podium for them in Saxony. <laughs> Victory though for Birchall Racing. A great triumph which takes them closer to the top of the standings. Getting further involved in the title picture. Uh, we had a couple of bad results. Uh, I say bad results, you know, we're sort of fourth and fifth and we had a few issues with the machine at the last two rounds and we worked really hard to, to try and rectify that coming here and to be fair, we're a bit underpowered. The engine's sort of five years old and but I tried everything that I'd got and yeah, it paid off and Tom was perfect all race and we just had a real good package 
not the top, the best in top speed, but but corner-wise, and this circuit lends itself to that type of riding. So yeah, it was superb. Virtual racing taking the win ahead of Hock Racing Steinhausen Racing, the third place team. Tim Reeves Racing were winners of one race in Croatia, missing out on the podium. Tim Reeves Racing still ahead in the World Championship, ahead of Team Suzuki Finland. Virtual Racing moving up to third place overall. Bonavo, congratulations to Virtual Racing. Join us in Schleiss at the end of the month. Sonst die Spanversion senkt mir auf.